Hello, my name is Kainsan Monoye, and in this video, we are going to start building a simple calculator in Java, and we are going to be using Nightbeans IDE. One thing I want to let you know is that this tutorial is going to be really simple. It's going to be step by step, and whether you are an amateur, you are a complete novice, you are a professional, this procedure is going to be easy and it can be followed by anyone at all so just grab a pen and a paper so maybe you write down this procedure and then you find out it's going to be really easy all right so let's demonstrate this calculator you see on your screen let's see how it works let me click on this clay to clear up the text there let's take for instance 4 times 5 equals 20 so this is how it will work it will be able to do well addition subtraction division and multiplication so please follow along um, i'm going to start from the scratch so let's go ahead to remove uh, night beans because i really would like to start from the scratch exit ide okay fine all right, so let's start with uh, outlining the steps we are going to follow. Uh, let's say a procedure for building a simple calculator in Java using nets beans. All right, so the very step one will be how NetBeans IDE installed. NetBeans is very easy, free application, so you can just go to netbeans.org and download the app. This procedure, I'm, 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 I'm applying it here in Mac, but you can also apply it easily on Windows. All right, start a new Java application maybe we'll make it a uh, granular let's just say open night beans or start a new java application add a k frame of form to the application design the form name the both things accordingly we'll follow along this all right so codes write the events for the, the click event procedure all right so actually step one to six is very simple and step seven is where you write just a little code i tell you just really a little code and I'm going to place this code in the description box below so that you can easily copy and paste. So in the tutorial one, we are going to cover the first one down to the fifth one maybe. So let's start with the first one. I've done this already, so done. So let's take the next step, open night beans. Open night beans, just go ahead to open night beans and NetBeans opens up as you can see right there. It takes a while, um, just a couple of seconds to open, and while it opens, I can easily update our list. Okay, um, all right, good. So, NetBeans opens up this way. So, let's update our list. Open NetBeans, done. Alright, so start a new application in NetBeans. Let's uh, make sure everything is closed. 
to just close our projects just to make sure we are starting afresh all right so all right so what we are going to do now is to take this step three and that should be start a new java application so to start a new java application just go to file new projects actually start a new java project so leave it at java java application and just go next give it the name let's just call it calculator that's just fine allow every other thing to be default and just go ahead to click on finish so that completes our step three as you can see this is really super simple and just go ahead to follow along let me close this all right so the next step is add a jframe form to the application so add a jframe form to the application what you do is right click and then say new jframe form it's going to serve as a canvas for the calculator so let's just call it main form all right so the project is calculator you want to leave every other thing the way it is so finish all right so we have it right there okay so we've completed step four we've added a jframe form so i update this to done i'm going to design the form normally you may have been able to sketch the form on a sheet of paper and then you go ahead to do the design but now we are just going to design it the way it is so what we are going to do is first you want to use swing containers ensure that you have the swing containers panel open all right i my system is making this buzzing sound so i don't really know all okay so let's go ahead to design um you can see the tools here that you can use to, for the design so the first one is text field not this area you you have test field so drag a test field and just drop it there all right so that is just fine all right so go ahead to leave everything the way it is and then grab a button this will be the button that the user can click that represents the the numbers All right so after placing one you can just go ahead to right click and just copy and and just go ahead to paste okay uh paste second one uh, paste again that the third one okay so paste again so there is a fourth one there is a fourth one okay so uh, go ahead to paste again and then you continue pasting until it's all done so paste again uh, it might be necessary for you to copy all the buttons and then paste at once but if you do that uh, you might have a problem later on i'm going to explain so just take your time to paste everything one by one from this and the so I think we are dragging the make sure you drag the one you just pasted and then 
paste again. All right. Okay. So. Okay. So. Now we have zero one one two three four five six seven eight nine. Let's continue pasting. So this one will represent zero. Uh, paste again. This represents a uh, full stop or point. Paste again. Alright, I'm sure you are following along in your own system. And then we paste four more items that will represent our our the multiplication, addition, division and subtraction signs there. Right, go ahead to continue pasting until you get it exactly like this. Paste. So, if you've done this, oh, sorry, I was trying to snap to. Right, so. Alright, so. Alright, so we are making headway. So at this point, you've completed the initial part. So let's take a look at our notes. Design the form. Okay. That is what we've done. And then we name the buttons accordingly. Before that, we set the tests on the, on the buttons to numbers. All right. So we are still designing the form so let's get back there if you like you can just right click and say preview design you can choose metal and this is what we have here all right let's go ahead to click and just see one if you double click you'll be able to change sorry not double click not double click click on it two times once twice you change to three once twice change to four five six seven eight nine zero Normally this should be a point. I place uh, multiplication here. Here I place equality sign. Here I place uh, division. Here I place subtraction. And here I place uh, addition. For this one, go ahead to delete everything. So as you can see, we have the face of our application right there. We want to add just one more button that will serve as the clear button, the button that we are going to use to clear the box. So go ahead to change it to clear, that is fine. Alright, so let's uh, preview, let's see how good we are doing here, the method. Okay, so uh, I don't like using this method. You can just uh, preview on Mac OS X. This is what I like using. So for now, this is what we have, and we've completed the first step of this demonstration. So join me in the next step as we start to change the names of these buttons on the text box that we've created. If you are learning and if this is informative, please subscribe to my channel and also like this video. So see you in the next presentation.